I made a comment recently that said Chris D'Elia is a teenage diddler, and I had about five responses defending him. Now, there's plenty of circumstantial evidence he had sex with 17-year-olds or under, but did he ever do that in a state where it was explicitly illegal? I don't know. Is there any evidence that it's ironclad? Definitely not. However, there is enough evidence for me to know that he's a creep. So in a moment, I'm going to show you some screenshots that are exclusive. But before that, his planned statement about the incident carefully said his relationships were consensual and legal. But that doesn't mean they were all 18 years of age. There are plenty of states where the age of consent is only 16 years old. The guy deserves no benefit of the doubt. So this video is for those who defend Chris D'Elia. And here we go. Fun fact about Chris D'Elia. When he stayed at my hotel two years ago, he called for help with his ACU unit and then exposed himself to the women who went to help then tried to get her to come back to the room if you see or post please leave me anonymous but it was in cleveland ohio during his show early 2018 about chris delia please keep me anonymous if you share but a friend of mine hooked up with him in nashville when she was blackout drunk and he was sober this was after he stopped drinking so he was literally completely sober she was 21 and he was 37 at the time she said she didn't regret it exactly, but felt super weird about it knowing the age difference, plus the fact that she was very obviously wasted. Chris D'Elia's story. Keep me anonymous if you share. I was interviewing some IG influencers for a story I was working on a couple years ago. One girl was 17 and literally had 17 in her bio. She was probably too young to even be interviewing with me, but she was one of the only people who answered my DMs. Anyway, we did a phone interview and she told me, kinda out of nowhere, that Chris D'Elia had slid into her DMs before being hella flirty and sexual. Like trying to meet up with her even though she literally had 17 in her bio. I think she stopped talking to him because she found out he had a live-in girlfriend. I was so low down on the totem pole at the time, but I honestly should have worked on investigating him more to expose him because this clearly is a disgusting pattern. Sad face emoji. OMG, like six years ago, Chris D'Elia tried to fly a girl I worked with from Canada to LA to stay with him and hook up. She was 18, so not underage, but he used her nudes to blackmail her when she said she didn't want to go. Keep me anonymous, but Chris D'Elia did a similar thing to me. I was 19, so not underage, but he messaged me on Twitter asking if I'd talk to him more privately and personally. And then offered to fly me to LA so we could hook up. I never answered him after that, but it was weird. I had tweeted to him quoting his jokes, and that's how he replied. Please keep me anonymous. Chris D'Elia messaged me in 2013. Flirty DMs and try to coax me to hang out, calling me a total babe at age 16. Chris D'Elia. When I was a senior in high school, I went to a show and tweeted to him. He then privated messaged me and told me to keep it private. I still have the screenshots. He then tried to hook up with my friend and I in his hotel room and keep like padding the bed to come sit down. But we were 17, so we got creeped out and left. And here's the screenshot of the DM. Chris D'Elia asking, thank you, keep this private, please. The girl responding, OMG, of course. Is there any way we can meet you before you leave? Chris D'Elia asking, what's your number? Chris D'Elia's friend group is predatory as well. Not just him. Him. All 35 plus year olds preying on 22 and under, or at least 22 and under looking girls at their shows. Chris D'Elia convinced my roommate, age 17, at the time in fall 2014, to come to his hotel downtown Indy. And she sucked his dick. Smiley face emoji. She has emails and they have a photo together on her Instagram from that night. Yikes. He's super creepy. I had a homegirl who he crept into her DMs. I tried to get him to get us into a club in LA. She asked him and he was like, nah, I'll just meet you in the parking lot to hook up. I used to like him on Whitney, but then I heard that and everything he did after just seemed creepy to me, lol. I'm gonna just throw this your way. Friend of a friend had an experience with him. No names, please. Just crazy this all coming out right now. Hey, I have a similar Chris D'Elia story. I was 19 and saw him at a comedy 
Comedy Festival with Bill Burr and Sarah Silverman. I tweeted at him and everyone, and he invited me backstage. But not really backstage, because he probably didn't want the people he was touring with to see him with a young girl. Now that I think about it, and we texted for a bit, he asked to go to his hotel to make out with him. My friends were egging me on, but I ended up not going because it felt weird. He had to have been like 34 and I was 19. Nothing happened other than he hugged me and asked to get naked and make out. I always thought it was strange. Looking back on it, and was always bummed I didn't actually get to go backstage and meet the other comics. I am totally not surprised that he's done this to other young girls. Please keep me anonymous. Here's an email thread between Chris D'Elia and a teenage girl. Chris writes, if you give me your number, I'll just text you. But I want to hang with you later. He continues by saying, hey, sorry, this went to my junk mail. You in pit? Here's a text message thread between Chris D'Elia and a teenager. Chris saying, let me know when you're there. Girl says, I'm there. Chris, saw. Teenager, I'm on my way back home. What's up with you? Chris, hang in. I want you. Teenager, where are you staying? Chris, if I tell you, can we get naked? Chris, hey, hey, it's Chris. Teenager, yo, nice set. Chris, thanks, babe. You headed back to pit after this? Teenager, yup, that's where I live. Chris, nice. Um, do we get to make out? Happy face emoji. Teenager, lol, is this actually Chris D'Elia? Hi, another Chris D'Elia story. Please keep me anonymous. This was in 2011. When I was 19, he DM'd me on Twitter, and we started talking there. He asked for nudes, but I never sent them. I went to his place, and he had such a creepy, dark vibe. When I told him I was a virgin, his eyes lit up and then excitedly asked me, so if we had sex, it would probably hurt. Then he was slurring his words and told me someone gave him a pill at the Laugh Factory, and he didn't know what it was. Then accused me of having drugged him. I was like, you literally just told me you took an unknown pill. I left quick after that. For years now, I often see him around LA, and he has never once recognized me. Probably because I'm one of many teenage girls he solicited in the same exact way. Trash, trash, trash. Hey, please leave me anonymous, but Chris D'Elia kind of grew me when I was 17 years old and slept with me when I was 17. Technically, it was legal in the state, but then he continued to emotionally blackmail me, telling me that if I left him, I'd never hear from him again, etc. He also told me that he was really into the fact that I was still in high school. I've tried to talk to someone about this for years, but I was of age and it technically wasn't illegal, so it wasn't a legal issue. Also, there's more and I have the receipts. I just don't feel comfortable going public with my name yet. Hi, you're probably getting a ton of Chris D'Elia messages. I was 20, 21, so not underage, but I sent him a funny DM on IG that had to do with his podcast. And then he started DMing with me and asked for my number. When he came to Boston for a show, he wanted me to go to his hotel to hook up, and I said no. He got pissed and went off on me, saying something along the lines of, why else would I be texting you? Block my number. I have a screenshot somewhere, I think. I just have to dig super far into the pics I sent my friends in 2018. Laughing crying emoji. Here's a text thread between Chris D'Elia and a teenage girl. Chris, hi. Teenager, shut the F up. Holy shit, hey. Chris, ha ha, you in LA? Teenager, I wish, crying emoji. Chris, well, where then? Teenager, Chicago. Chris, well, we should text, digits. Teenager, no answer. Chris, sad face emoji. Keep anonymous, please, but these are DMs with Chris D'Elia when I was 17. I'm 24 now, but never gave him my number, even though I liked him as a comedian because I thought it was weird considering how old he was. Chris D'Elia sexually assaulted my sister back in 2014 when she was 17. She went out to LA and met him. He then kept giving her alcohol until she was basically unconscious and had sex with her. Chris D'Elia tweets on March 21st, 2011, girls mature earlier than boys, but that's because you kind of have to grow up when creepy old dudes are always trying to be inside of you. Chris deleted this very disturbing tweet in the last 10 minutes. I posted on your thread, but I know your mentions must be busy as heck. A teenage girl named Abby tweets this, All right, y'all. I went back to my 2011 Facebook Messenger and found the DMs from Chris D'Elia being creepy and persistent to me when I was 17. More in thread. 
And here's that very Facebook Messenger thread. Chris D'Elia writes, Hi, yeah, I'm in Golden, Colorado. I did a show. Where are you? The teenage girl responds, Ah, damn, I would have liked to have gone. I'm in Greenwood Village, just south of Denver. It's about 30 minutes from Golden. Is that the only one you're doing while you're here? Chris, yeah, what are you doing? Teenager, what do you mean? Like now? Chris, yup. Teenager, just chilling at home. You, are you enjoying Colorado? Chris, yeah, it's all right. I'm bored. How old are you anyway? Teenager, yeah, well, Golden is hardly the best part of Colorado. Denver and the mountain towns are where it's at. I'm 17. How long are you here for? Chris, ah, too young. Winky face. I'm leaving tomorrow. Teenager, ah, sad. I wish I could have seen a show. Ha ha, yeah. Oh, well, how old are you anyways? Chris, 30. Teenager, hmm, yeah, a little too old for me. Ha ha, well, you should definitely let me know the next time you have a show here. Chris, okay, for sure. Chris, hi. Teenage girl, hey. Chris, sup. Teenager, the usual, you know, you. Chris, same. Teenager, so why the random contact, if I may ask? Chris, I don't know. I think you're cute, I guess. Teenager, fair enough. Chris, so tell me something good. Teenager, you first. Chris, we should text. Fuck FB. In regards to the Chris D'Elia thread, he messaged one of my friends in high school when he was doing shows in Florida, also asking her to cuddle. It always stuck with me because of how creepy it was. My past experiences with Chris D'Elia and I just thought I'd collaborate. He DM'd me on Twitter when I was 16. Chris D'Elia DMs on Twitter, LOL. 16 year old girl, what's so funny OMG, I'm just so high and your tweets are really resonating with me right now, so thank you. Chris, ha, I'm dumb but that's good. It's such a dumb conversation and I left him on red but still, very creepy and at the time he definitely knew I was young because I had Emos High School in my bio. Chris D'Elia used to Snapchat my friend when she was in high school. We used to text when I was 20 and he wanted me to come to his hotel room and when I said no, he was super rude but he was so weird in the texts. He was like, are we going to kiss? Like what? I don't want my name involved in the Chris D'Elia stuff but people need to check their Insta DMs. He went back and unsent the ones asking for my number and what I was doing after the show after being tagged in my story. They were unsent within the past few months or so and the messages were originally sent in 2018 which feels fishy. Now that concludes some of the stuff that we have as far as a compilation of all these teenage girls coming forward and telling their story about Dalia. Just imagine how much more we can get because I'm sure there's other teenage girls out there. But here's the response. A response for those who actually defend the teenage diddler in Chris Dalia. Who defends him besides Brendan Schaub? I know who. A lot of people in his subreddit defend the shit out of him. And we know they're all 45-year-old virgins fantasizing about finally losing their virginity to a 16-year-old once they hit their 50s. I'm serious. Go check out Chris D'Elia subreddit. It's wild, dude. In fact, I was in a group therapy with a woman who had a toddler and defended Chris D'Elia, obsessed over him. It was weird. Also, I know a girl who's a repeat victim of SA, and she's a huge fan of Chris D'Elia. I've never said anything to her about it, obviously, but I always wondered how her brain ignores all his allegations. Sadly, a lot of people seem to be of the opinion if an abuse victim goes along with the abuse, there was no abuse. People have very simple minds, and I don't think we know even 5% of the extent of Chris D'Elia's crimes. I guarantee you there's way more that hasn't came out yet. The dude's a certified creep, and he honestly can't seem to help himself either. He got caught out not long ago, engaging in more of this kind of stuff, trying to be discreet about it, being married and all with, what, two kids? Guaranteed he's going to do it again and will get caught eventually. He's a sociopath. These kind of creeps will not stop until they're locked up. I swear, someone needs to compare the states Chris D'Elia tours more frequently to states with low ages of consent. I bet there is definitely a pattern. Brendan Chobb would be against those odds, because the diddler's gonna diddle. And look, I don't know if Chris D'Elia did anything illegal, but if he was allowed to, he definitely must be going younger and younger and younger. Again, if he was allowed to, because that's how creepy the dude is. Anyhow, let me know what you guys all think about this, and sound off in the comments section down below, because you guys really matter, even though we don't matter. But hey, do me guys 
a huge favor. Do me guys a huge favor. That doesn't make any sense. Do me a big favor. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button on your way out. Also push the notification bell so you get notified whenever new videos come out. Man, I truly appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching the videos. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. I'll see you guys in the next video for sure. Like but the Bla Bla Blantiago one, Jesus Christ.